Alright, come back. <laughs> haven't we learned not to judge films by their trailers at work, Sam? Like, haven't we learned our lesson? Uh, it's a reference to Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, specifically, the character looks sad. <laughs> At least I think that's where you're dying at. jealous I'm jealous of your pizza it's okay I think I'm having hamburgers tonight yeah See, now you're starting to understand what it means to have good characterization. And for the record, I wouldn't blame that necessarily. I wouldn't blame any issues with that on Tim Burton, per se. Uh, the screenwriters have a lot to do with that. But who knows? I'm not saying he's not to blame, but I'm not saying he is either. <laughs> But yeah, uh, character should have an internal consistent logic and it should make sense to the reader. If it doesn't make sense, then it just feels odd or off. I was reading, um, I've been listening to the audiobook version of Brandon Sanderson's El Elantris, which I love. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like Ava Green a lot and Samuel L. Jackson is rarely bad. Um, I mean, often he's Samuel L. Jackson, and that's about it, but he's rarely bad. Um, but yeah, I've been reading, uh, or I've been listening to the audiobook for Atlantris, and so I was on Brandon Sanderson's website and uh, reading about his ideas of magic systems and the logic behind them. So the idea for him is that the more the magic system is explained, the less any solution through that magic system seems like Deus Machina. But that being said, then the magic is less mysterious. So it's a trade-off, right? You gotta find that fine line between mystery and logical explanations of the, of the system and figure out how they, like where your storyline's gonna run through. Cause that's one of my biggest problems with Lord of the Rings is how often characters are saved by something random. Like if it's not the Eagles, it's um, Gandalf like riding on a horse or like some army shows up or something like there's always someone being saved and it feels very 
frustrating on a certain level where, you know, characters can never work through their own problems. They can never solve anything for themselves. Yes, in the end, they succeed, but, yeah. So the reason I brought that up is because that same logic that drives that magic system that, that takes away a little bit from that mystery is the same thing that happens with characters. Where you want to, it was the more you understand a character, the more it makes sense for them to do certain things or the more their logic should make sense to you. If they do things against their character and you can see that, then that means that the, the writer is not doing his job properly. He's not giving us that. And it's one of those things where those decisions of reaction weren't necessarily wrong, but we didn't understand them properly. So they came across as wrong. Like that's the biggest thing that I think about is that it wasn't logical Sure, but that might have been because we weren't, like, they didn't show us the right logic. You know what I mean? Where it would make sense for the character to have done that, but they didn't present it in the proper way to give us that explanation so it made sense.
Um, it's a gray area, as far as I understand it. Uh, it, it's a gray area. I think the best way to treat it is the same way as you treat it in um, M-rated games, where you can do it as long as you're just passing through the story and you're not spending a ton of time on it and it's not gratuitous and whatever else. But, you know, I'm not planning on doing any of that stuff on stream. No, no, that's fine. I was just saying. Yeah, it's okay. Rest your hands.
pretty sure they uh, they called all of the nipple emotes. I think this works really well. Like the sort of genre style with what I'm trying to do. You get that you get that awesome like hard boiled detective uh, sort of language obscuring the actual fact of what they're doing. sentences need to be shorter. Do they? Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you were talking about my like 
general senses. <laughs> well, it's kind of part of the point, right? Should be a comma or not. I don't think it should be. Well, I'm going to play a game. Have you had before? Take that out. Yeah, totally. That was like single word answers of very brief curtness.
Oh, cool. I actually own Max Payne, though. I will play it. <laughs> um, I own one and two, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I got them in the Remedy pack. There's a Remedy Humble Bundle a while back that had like a bunch of Alan Wake stuff that I really wanted, so I bought the entire pack. Oh, actually, I own Max Payne 3 as well. <laughs> I own all of them. Just not the DLC. Uh, but that's fine, because I'm never going to play uh, multiplayer. Yeah, uh, I've always got that impression that they would just be the graphics that were the problem. Because the writing seems solid. And I was such a huge fan of Alan Wake, man. Like, that was my jam, for sure. That makes sense. I might play it on a controller just because the controller uh, sort of style for games like that tend to work better. Uh, like they age better versus the uh... <laughs> versus the rest. What did you think of the Max Payne movie, Sam? Did you see it? So I saw it and I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't think it was a particularly great film, but I like that sort of cold case interest, interesting thing going on. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. I think it was all right. Fair enough. I think they're going for a sort of well, honestly, they were probably going for a noir film sort of feel, right? With that, like, emotionless. Emotionlessness. I got you, like that Dirty Harry style. Yeah. Yeah. Too many hands though, right? Too many cooks. Which by the way, if you haven't seen that skit, it's hilarious and you should totally watch it.
<laughs> that's that's awesome.
You know, it's crazy about uh, looking at these film noirs is that William Faulkner wrote the screenplay for them. Like, <laughs> William Faulkner has a Nobel Prize in literature and a Pulitzer. Yeah. I want to go watch Humphrey Bogart films. Second. Oh, no, that makes sense. <laughs> Never mind. I'm crazy.
Hey man, what's going on? I am just about to take a break though. <laughs> okay, I'll only be gone for a few minutes, but I do need to take a break. So yeah, uh, break time. See y'all in a bit. <laughs> 